I'm back. Road Trans for Black and White Network. Well, we're going to talk about Eric Adams in New York City because it seems he has made a decision much in the same way as, you know, Brandon Johnson in Chicago caring about the welfare, the brave, stunning, and courageous welfare of migrants as New York is supposed to be a sanctuary city, even though Eric Adams at times sounds a lot like a Republican. When it comes to illegals, and he even went so far as to talk about things at a federal level need to change, well, eh, okay, whatever. Uh, You're the sanctuary city. Republican governors are shipping migrants to you in Chicago and other places that claim to be brave, stunning, and courageous. And at one time, you advocated for this crap, so congratulations. You won. You got what you deserve. You got what's coming to you. Uh, So... That leads us to something that snuck through that I just caught from yesterday that has me absolutely floored. That it seems in order to cover the cost of migrants in New York City, we got some defund the police action going down in New York City. Now, I want you to just keep in mind, it's amazing how these kind of things get celebrated. This was the crime statistics from back in July of 2023. And, of course, they actually celebrated this. 33 murders. Okay, it was down from 51 the year before. 33 murders, 124 rapes, uh, 1,513 robberies, 2,641 felony assaults. Those were actually up, et cetera, et cetera. So, altogether, crime statistic, 11,165 What you consider to be the worst of the worst, felony assault, burglary, grand larceny, grand theft auto, rape, murder, that sort of thing. Uh, If you want to celebrate a 700 incident difference and you're still up over 11,000 for one month, be my guest. But from where I come from, that's considered a disaster. That would be a code red of mayhem. Gotham City. Okay? It's amazing. These leftists will celebrate anything they can that makes it look like they're improving on crime when it's a disaster. Well, so that takes us to this headline. NYPD ordered to slash overtime spending to help cover the cost of migrant crisis, sparking safety concerns amid high crime. And you notice I said... Felony assault. Have you seen how many uh, incidents we have seen very publicly on video of people getting clocked in the head with a beer bottle or with a bat or attacked by something in New York City? That statistic alone has went up. But yet, you are about to defund the police. When you're talking about slashing spending... When it comes to the NYPD, that's called defunding. That's removing money from the police department amid a crime wave. This is appalling. This is crazy. This is absurd. This is New York City. Democratic New York City Mayor Eric Adams is expected to issue a directive ordering the New York Police Department to slash overtime spending in order to help cover costs associated with the migrant crisis. The New York Post reported Adams Budget Director Jacquez Jaha reportedly sent a memo on Saturday to the city's police department, fire department, Department of Correction and Department of Sanitation. That's great. So you're going to pile up more trash and have less firefighters to fight fire fires in your city on top of everything else stating that each agency would be expected to cut overtime and we know how this we know what's went down there okay it's the same thing in chicago or any of these left-wing cities they defunded the police so in turn you have people retiring there was a mass exodus retirement out of the nypd out of out of a lot of these cities Or they have decided to move out of state to red states where they actually support law enforcement and fund law enforcement. And in turn, they're having trouble hiring. 
Okay, quote, the mayor will issue a directive to implement an overtime reduction initiative for our city's four un, uh, uniformed agencies, NYPD, FDNY, DOC, and De- DSNY, Jaha wrote. These agencies will submit a plan to reduce year-to-year overtime spending. The memo instructed departments to submit monthly budget reports to City Hall to track overtime spending and their process progress in meeting the reduction target. According to Patrick Hedry, the head of the Police Belevenant Association, the city's largest police union, cutting overtime will be difficult for the department. Quote, It is going to be impossible for the NYPD to significantly reduce overtime unless it fixes its staffing crisis. Hendry stated, we are still thousands of cops short. And we're struggling to drive crime back to pre-2020 levels without adequate personnel. You notice a key there? Pre-2020 levels. George Floyd and defunding the police and the reaction to that fiasco. I still sometimes say I feel like that Floyd thing was a conspiracy to do exactly what has been done here across so many of these cities in the country. Quote, if City Hall wants to save money without jeopardizing public safety, it needs to invest in keeping experienced cops on the job. Last year, the city's police department spent over $700 million on overtime. In addition to slashing overtime budgets, Adams plans to enforce a hiring freeze. What the hell? Wow. The hiring freeze will not apply to public health and safety positions or revenue producers. The Post reported at this time, the city does not plan to implement layoffs to meet the new cost-cutting goals. God, I would hope not. I mean, come on. The memo also stated there would be a ban on new equipment purchases and future consulting contracts. Out-of-town travel restrictions will also be implemented. Jaha noted that the city's cost-cutting measures will impact migrant services as well. We are reducing services being provided to asylum, asylum seekers and closely monitoring their services to ensure they are being delivered cost-efficient and cost-effective manner possible. Jahad's memo said the city is experiencing a humanitarian crisis. Last week, Adams stated the influx of migrants will destroy New York City. We have a $12 billion deficit we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted, all of us. I said it last year when we had 15,000. Now I'm telling you it's 110,000. The city we knew, we're about to lose. We are all in this together, all of us. Wow. Wow. It's, it's crazy. You see that? Help cover the cost of migrants. It, it's unbelievable. It, it really is. You know, these guys asked for this. You campaigned on leftist ideals, left-wing ideals. You all wanted to be brave, stunning, and courageous, by the way, during what you seemed to deem a pandemic at one time and was losing your minds over. But yet, nothing to see here. Let the immigrants, the illegal aliens, just flock into the country through my state of Texas and other states. Just let them come on down. A lot of times they're not even getting tested for COVID. But wait a minute, aren't you guys freaking out about COVID? Question mark? Or y'all don't care that they're coming in because they're going to vote blue? I'm sorry. If that doesn't feel like a thing (laughs) that's been plotted by Biden and so many of these others, you notice what's going on? Let's grow our voting base. All those illegals coming in, a lot of them are coming in wearing like Biden shirts and things. Yeah. Can we get one wearing a Let's Go Brandon shirt? Maybe I need to make one of those. My God. Really? That's crazy. It's, it's, it's nuts. I just showed you the crime. Now they're saying that's an improvement. My God. Yikes. 
felony assault wasn't an improvement. It went up. Okay, so now they're just beating you nearly to death, but not actually to death. Great. You're you're maimed or you're paralyzed or you're talking funny the rest of your life or, or whatever. All of that's gone up. Wow, such an improvement. Such an improvement. We're going to cut, and, and guys, just like in Chicago, the taxes in New York are off the charts high. And these people are willing to pay those taxes. And in fairness, New York, a lot of New Yorkers have thrown up the deuce and headed somewhere else. Don't blame you. I can't imagine why anybody lives there. And I can only imagine what all this has done to actually affect New York's tourism and Chicago's. But New York's in particular, we know New York was a major tourist destination. I wanted to go to New York. We talked about it yesterday. Because of 9-11, we was like, man, I'd love to go to Ground Zero and blah, blah, blah. I want to go to Yankee Stadium and I want to do all these things. And then I'm like, nah. Now, if by chance they ever get the second coming of Rudy Giuliani in there and the streets get cleaned up again, then, yeah, I might consider going. But as long as you got Eric Adams and people of his ilk in there that are willing to defund the police and firefighters for the sake of keeping up migrants, nah, I'm going to take a pass on that. And I'm not alone in taking the pass. So that is yet more money that would have come into your city that is now no longer coming in. It's baffling. It's it's weird. And he can go out there and run his mouth about this as a crisis and this and that and the other until somebody like Eric Adams comes out and has a complete change of heart and says, you know what? I'm 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 leaving the Democratic Party. I'm becoming a Republican. I'm going to back to President Trump. And even then, I don't know that I would trust him. I don't think I would. But until we start seeing that kind of change, and of course they'd vote him out. I mean, the people up there vote the same way they do in Chicago and San Francisco and New Orleans and these other places. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.